It's a unique opportunity for people right here in Kansas City to see a collection of nationally acclaimed artists all on one stage. Logan Bachars is the co-artistic director for Kansas City Dance Festival, and Jill Marlowe is a dancer and company manager. Welcome to the show. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah, we really you. appreciate it. Okay, now, so the dancers are truly from all around the world. What are we talking about? Uh, well, we have uh, somebody from Japan and somebody mm -hmm. from Cuba and somebody from um, Turkey. So it's it's kind of all over the place, and we have uh, dancers from uh, Ballet Med, from Cincinnati, and also from Kansas City, uh, so our hometown, and from Nashville Ballet, did I leave one out? Mm -hmm. And Joffrey and Ballet. And Joffrey Ballet. And they're actually flying in this week, and they have uh, set pieces that they have prepared, and it's just going to be a fantastic evening of dance, and classical work and mm -hmm. contemporary work. What is it like when dancers come together and perform? Do they inspire each other? Oh, absolutely. Um, we really enjoy just everyone being together for mm -hmm. technical things, for artistry, for momentum, for inspiration. What are some of the dances that folks will be able to enjoy? Well, we'll be presenting a classical ballet, so we'll do mm -hmm. pas de deux with tutus and point mm -hmm. shoes, and we'll also be doing contemporary works to where it's a little bit more um, athletic and a little mm -hmm. bit more daring and uh, acrobatic. So we'll have a gentle blend. It's, it's just going to be a great evening. Tell me about your dance backgrounds. Well, I started dancing when I was seven. My mother mm -hmm. put me into uh, dance classes, like kind of a daycare. So I actually <laughs> kept up with it. So, uh, and now I'm here, but I actually went to school in North Carolina School of the Arts. I mm -hmm. danced in Boston for a while in New York, and now I'm here in Kansas City for 13 years. Wow, how about you? Yeah, I'm from Rochester, New York, so I started training there when I was like five or six. And uh, I've danced with Pittsburgh Ballet Theater and Cincinnati Ballet, and I've been with Kansas City Ballet for two years. So, What's the ballet world like in Kansas City in terms of from training up? to the professional level. Oh yeah, I mean, Kansas City is such a great com uh, community, very supportive, mm -hmm. and so the ballet um, is a terrific, notable, reputable company, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, this community is really lucky, and I'm really glad that the Kansas City Dance Festival is now on the calendar, and now we have more dance to show the community this summer. What do you think people, how do they react to ballet? Well, I think a lot of it is people just need to come and see it, mm -hmm. and um, everyone kind of has their own opinion. But usually, generally, people are really pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. And this rep is going to be really, really, really exciting. Um, it's going to be athletic. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be precise. And it's, we've got terrific dancers coming in. How quickly do these dancers learn the choreography before they perform it? Well, I think we've been rehearsing for about two weeks now. And mm -hmm. last week, uh, the piece you'll actually see us mm -hmm. perform momentarily, um, it took all of last week to learn. Mm -hmm. So it, it came along really quickly. We're doing a piece called Angeli, which is choreographed by Ma Kong. He recently retired in Tulsa, and mm -hmm. he's a national, international choreographer, and he came in with us, and we were just so thankful to have him come in and teach this piece. And Angeli is actually an uh, angel. Mm -hmm. and, um, She's your angel, isn't she? Right? <laughs> she is my yeah. angel. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but we reflect it through the form of movement, mm -hmm. and a lot of what you'll see is using the arm. Mm -hmm. and kind of reflection of how he was uh, inspired by angels growing up. So. Oh, that's wonderful. And you guys are great partners. You, you, you work together I well. I try yeah? to be. Okay. Yeah, we try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, the Kansas City Dance Festival shows are this Friday and Saturday. Both nights, they're at 7.30 at the Spencer Theater on the UMKC campus. Tickets are $20 to $30 or $10 for students. We'll have a link to all this information on our website today, kclive.tv. But for now, Logan and Jill are going to perform for us a little pas de deux, some partnering action. Again, that's from Ma Kong's Anjali. Right. Actually, I was a little sad I wasn't able to see you do the Zumba. Oh, I to well, the clip, let me tell you, it was impressive. Nothing like what you're about to do. So take it away. All right, Show us how it's lot. really done. <laughs>
breathe, yeah, breathe. Yeah. Okay, so again, you can see these folks um, and see more performances yes. from other dancers as well. Um, and again, the information, the details of where they can go, it's, we'll have the link at caseylive.tv and they can find you. Yes, uh, right. caseydancefestival.com. Perfect. And also, uh, you can buy tickets at the ticket office at UMKC. Yes. Greg, it's hard, it's hard to talk when you are exhausted. It is. I mean, All right, let's head over to the Weather Center where they're doing a little bit of a rain dance. 